so we are from group 12 and we would like to deliver our presentation about the results on finding grammatical errors but before we start our presentation let me introduce the members of group 12 that consists of three people they are Yosefin Fiadestias Asmara, Rosa Delima Nona Windy Christia, and me, Mary Christiana. Alright everyone, let's get started and enjoy the presentation! For the first analysis, I have found a grammatical mistake in my own Instagram caption. I have highlighted the wrong sentence there. It says, I don't know where we would be if we are not here for each other. Well. It's considered wrong, and the type of the error is related to conditional sentence type 2. We use conditional sentence type 2 when we imagine that the present situation is different. As we all know, in conditional sentence type 2, we are not allowed to use present simple. Meanwhile, we must use past simple. As a result, the word are should be replaced with were, and the correct sentence should be I don't know where we would be if we were not here for each other. Then, I have found the second analysis of grammatical error sentence from someone's Instagram account. It says, I wish I had friends that just pop up to my house because they bored or miss me. Well, I will give you the explanation about it. So, it is related to adjective clause. The mistake is in the word that. It should be replaced with the word who. Why? Because remember to use who if it is for people and the word that if it is only for things. So, the correct answer, the correct sentence should be I wish I had friends who just pop up to my house because they bored or miss me. Let's move on to the another analysis sentence that I found also from Instagram. Actually, this is from a friend's account. She caption her post will run wild, will be glowing in the dark. This is a form of grammatical errors related to parallel structure. Then after this, I will remind you about one of the rules of parallel structure. It is about comparing each idea in your sentence, follow the same grammatical patterns, and also don't forget about the conjunction. Take a look at the caption. It will be correct parallel sentence. If the word run changes into running, then we add conjunction and. So the sentence should be, will be running wild and be glowing in the dark. Moving on to the next analysis. So, I found a grammatical mistake from one of Justin Bieber's song on Spotify and the song is Boyfriend. I think the sentence, if I wish your boyfriend, I'd never let you go, has a grammatical mistake that related to conditional sentence type 2. Then, why do I consider that sentence as a grammatical mistake? Okay, now let's find out what the answer is. As you guys know, conditional sentence type 2 is usually defined as imagining unreal situation in the present or in the future. And in English, when you are imagining unreal situation, you should use were in, in all subject instead of use was. Because was is usually used when we are talking about real situation that truly happen. So, the correct sentence should be if I were your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Now let's take a look at the last analysis. So I found a grammatical mistake on the Instagram caption of my friends. And here she wrote, don't know why, but after seeing the sunset, my problem disappeared instantly. Then after reading that sentence, I considered that this type of error is related to adverb clause. Do you guys still remember the first rule to reduce adverb clause? Yes, you were right. The first and the most important rule to reduce adverb clause is that the subject between the main clause and the subject in the subordinate clause should be the same. Then, if they are not, it is also known as a dangling modifier. 
And the Instagram caption that my friend wrote is the example of a dangling modifier. That sentence has a different subject. As you know, in the sentence, the subject in the main clause is I, and the subject in the subordinate clause is my problem. They are totally different, right? So, the correct sentence should be, don't know why, but after I saw the sunset, my problem disappeared instantly. And yes, that's the end of our presentation video. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope you guys can take a lesson from this video. Bye-bye, stay healthy!